I love your work. It's really beautiful. And there's a um, there's a photographer who I've been following in Monterey for years. His name is Bo Williams. And I only buy my Monterey prints from him because I just love what he's done. But he also did one in San Francisco. It was a foggy day and it was a bridge. It was something he typically did not do. And it captured me because it was green and it was like just opening up the fog and the fog and it was just yeah. the yeah. rippling. You, you, felt, you felt like you were there. And I had been to that. I go, I know what that is. I said, that's a really scary bridge. And then I realized later, from a park, oh, like you, I like moments. moments. I like moments of time mm -hmm. and moments of life. Mm -hmm. I was watching. I don't photograph people. And all That's I did was a whole nother I yes. like actually get the uh, But I do I like, like the moments. Yes. Yes. And you like this one. Can you capture yes. that one? Yes. 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 That's also in Spokane. Oh, oh, that's oh. Nice. This is... Uh, is that the church? It's called yeah, the know. Clock Tower. Uh -huh. And it's at Riverfront Park. You know, obviously mm -hmm. there's a river here mm -hmm. and the other steps. And mm -hmm. it... It was just, it was the perfect moment when we were there. The clouds are lavender. I know. And, and then and it reflects just look, in the water. It's just like a piece of art, you know? Mm hmm Like a water column. It's just so beautiful. And then the hands of the yes. trees. The little peekaboo through the sky. Those moments are just so gentle and so perfect with the camera. They are. Yes, that they are. It's very beautiful. Gonna have bullet points. Anything else I'm gonna try to come? No, but um, so only you only need a photography. And do you do you have a specific camera you need? Or or just a, uh, you just lucky see. with a digital camera? I'm just lucky with this face rod. Yeah, and then and a few of the others were just and that simple point machine. That was a point machine camera. This. And uh, then I just Loaded. recently bought a, a little fan shirt camera, mm -hmm. but it's somewhat the fanciest right. market. Still, so what we want to do is talk about Surprisingly, if I, I don't know a lot about the right. camera. If, if I, I go, go back and do things different. Pictures and I love the um, And also, so do you do other artwork or creative? Uh, uh, because there's I make jewelry. That's why. You have a creative eye. Especially I make jewelry. I love color. So did you make your pendant? I did. Yeah, really nice. pretty. And I like and the stone that you picked. Yes, yeah, I like that particular stone. I like the reminds of the ocean, so this is represents yeah. the ocean. It does look like you. When you're ready, it reminds me actually of a little place outside of Santa Barbara with the ocean turns that color. Thank you. And writing is very solid. Self-publishing is very solid. Likewise, say, so what about some of these back here? So what I would love to see happen is if these, you connect with someone else. Like this, and this is artwork. Do the hand hey, Polly. Where, like, they this, them, um, so in January, we were at yeah. the but, Ringling you know, Brothers Museum in Sarasota, really Florida. Mm -hmm. And this is an actual wagon wheel. Uh, when the but circus to used to come through town. This is hand carved, hand painted, wooden wagon. Mm -hmm. And then this is um, also not a wagon, but this is one of the carousel like yeah. tigers. Oh. Um, oh. The hand painted, hand carved. And this is, so, I don't know, it could be close to 100 years old. Yeah, but that's it's sad that they're going there. away, but I understand yeah. why. It, it is. is. But it's still part of history. No. No. I Again, those that moments. Stuff. Stuff. That's not that and stuff. honestly, this must it's have had a middle band then. Our best interests because the style of wagon would be loaded. Mm -hmm. It, it had a metal well, band. It did have a metal band. And I think the metal band was red, the same color. Is yeah. Well because because this is the part that caught my eye. The story. Really I mean, great. the presentation. Really and then is this in London? Because somebody no, say, oh, this well, is California Adventure. Oh, you know why? Because so I saw the wheel, and I just automatically, every time I see a big wheel, I think of it. It looks like the eye. Yeah. It's California Adventure. This one is very fun. No, uh, so this is the Mad Tea party, party at Disneyland, and my husband and I, little, we, went, little we were invited to a private did, event there, and, and so we went there. By the time um, the event was finished, my first novel, the park was closed, and we walked by the Mad Tea Party, and, and there they were. And Nobody was in it because the park was closed, they were just there. Yeah. And I'd never even noticed these lanterns. Oh, and the frame is perfect. 
It's like it pulls out, it pulls out these blues and then you hit the back and then draws your eyes to the other. Bringing it like a 3D effect, which is really great with your eye. Thank you. And it was and then it was so bright and fun as the people were leaving the event. You could hear them whisper. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at the teacups. Yes. Well, the teacups are always magical because yeah. it's like Mad Hatter. Yes. And if you don't like Alice, then you might like Chester Cat, or you might like the Mad Hatter, or you might or, or off with her head. You know, there's something in it for everyone. And but that's so whimsical and so fun. Mm -hmm. And the frame is just right. It Thank makes you. it fun. I do like whimsy. I do. Theoretically, this one has always been one of my favorites. When we were in Paris um, during the Christmas holiday season from 2009 to 2010, we were there for New Year's. And we got there, it was the first night, it was drizzly, you know, it was rainy. And at the head or at the end of the Champs Elysees, there's a big Ferris wheel like the London Eye. So we went in there. And, and we're at the top, and during the holidays, the, um, the Eiffel Tower is lit. It goes through like, uh, like a psychedelic color change right, every right. half hour, all different so colors. Like and we happen to be right about the top when all the colors start lighting up on the half hour, on the hour, whatever it was. And so we have the Eiffel Tower, you have the cars coming by. Yes, you have that. And you can see that. So right here, the river. I just, I've always loved that picture. It's just because it's, it's like it's but busy, but then you see the calm behind it, and you can also see the sky just like just lit just right with the cloud, and it gets that again another 3D effect, kind of like like it's busy, but it's calm. It's like it's just breathtaking, and you, and, and you captured that moment once again. So they call Paris the city of lights. Exactly. And I think you captured it really well because I'm enjoying the person too much. <laughs> and then of course Yeah, the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh it's hard to it's hard to capture the beauty of the Grand Canyon, but again I have a friend still one of my photographer and he says the same thing. Or sunrise. Sunset. And this is hard. Yeah, and this is the North Rim. But still, you still captured the layers, the thing on the peak, splash, the peak, and then it gets darker, then you have that thin blue again, and the white, that kind of gives it again, that that little 3D kind of, um, like you're part of it, because it casts the shadow, so you capture the shadow in the world with the clouds, and so that's just really, again, another just really lovely, lovely yeah. shot. Down here there are a few trees too. Mm -hmm. It's more of a blending thing. It's another little dust. And again, the frame is just, it's the right size. It's, so that's it can't, because the focus isn't the frame, the focus is still drawn to author, the photo. And that's sure. really, again, same with this one. Cause it, because it looks 3D, you captured it with your framing as well. And that particular frame. Thank you. And then, so what happens like <laughs> I know you worked hard on them. Yeah. I did. <laughs> well, it's because I I love photography and I've been collecting it for years. And I I take a lot of pictures and people go with my little tablet and they go no 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 I take like multiple pictures and stuff because I post a lot of inspirational and I just use nature as my like vehicle. Yeah. Because you can't go wrong with nature. It's it's, it's flat and it's beautiful. Yeah. And then I love also how you captured like again all these well, right now, uh, the pictures of all the flowers that my I, my late friend if she had seen um, your pansy she would have bought it. Question? Oh, no, no action. That was so pretty when we were there. That was Stanley Park in Victoria. I love the garden. Or Vancouver. Yeah. So these two are from Bouchard Garden. Oh, did you do tea there? No. They have a lovely no, tea. We did, did you go to the we Japanese were, garden? We did go to the Japanese garden. Uh, we were there in May, like early mid May mm -hmm. is when we were there. And we went in Oh I take that back, it was late May. We went in fall. fall. We spent fourteen days uh -huh. between Vancouver and Victoria Island. Well, what, when we went to Bouchard Gardens, I heard that they had Himalayan blue poppies. Poppies are blue, and that's all I cared about seeing. And I, like the night before, I prayed that they were in bloom, and they were beautifully in bloom. 
and are you, I mean, you don't see a blue flower like that very often. Mm -hmm. It's just so beautiful. Not not often. These are two of my favorites by far. I write because I love to write. And I like that you got you captured again. So again, a little tiny effect. Look at my right hands. And it's just another beautiful moment. A few of those flowers. Look at the reason. That's awesome. The but paper is a certain it. way, it's very <laughs> coalescent so it's too. too. So when the right light shines on this, especially natural light, it's, it's, it's so pearlescent yes. that it just makes um, everything, and a lot you can do to help almost that you can touch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really so pretty. And again, the matting and the frame is just the perfect thing. Um, and there's well. things that we, we can talk about. These two are my favorites. Easier. Um, I can see why. I know, and this is very rare to capture because usually sometimes the season is off and so mm -hmm. then they kind of wilt towards the edge and you got them just as they can and yet you, even with the slight flower of the flower, it makes it breathtaking because it, it again centers again, it picks it up and that's just again another lovely, lovely piece. Thank you, Meg. I'm going to keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime. But again, this, because the rose yeah. is my favorite. Um, and you can't go wrong with the rose. Uh, right. well, um, I always say she's a very powerful flower. I'll tell you a little story on this one that is Christ's name. About three or four years ago, I took a photography class. I all here, Which was not a heavy duty photography class. It was with um, one of the local senior clubs. Mm -hmm. And all we did really was go on field trips. Oh, okay. Um, the teacher knew a lot about photography, but he just wanted to take us on field trips. Anyhow, I had taken this picture before I took the class. And then one evening after class, I was showing some of my favorite pictures to the teacher and the teacher's assistant. And when I showed them this, the teacher's assistant just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that rose. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he's... He said, you must have taken that in the morning. I said, yeah, I did take it in the morning. He goes, that is so pretty. And you don't even know enough to spray it. And I said, what are you talking about? He oh, said, yeah. you he said what? photographers I spray, spray their flowers. I said, I didn't know that. He goes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you didn't you even know, know enough like to spray it. I, I can tell when they do it because when they spray it, but you it doesn't get between the petals. It only stays on the outside so where it's, you can tell there was some type of rain. Because you can see the slight shadowing of the weather. And so that's the difference when you take a picture of the road. Which makes the flower look like yeah, again, which is another a beautiful is nature effect. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Awesome. Yeah, I still love this cat. Oh, yeah. Children's books. I've had a marker quite a while. I've known Mark for quite a while. I like his little sassy attitude. That is so cute. Like, yeah. I love the anthologies, too. We did an anthology. It's a different anthology. And I helped each other the whole time. I'm 